Alright lads, my name's Jagavri and welcome to a video, I found this video on YouTube, it's so emotional, I don't know why people can do this in their life, Um, it happened to me when I was younger, so I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but you'll, you'll know what it is when it starts playing. So let's go right into it. When, when I was a kid, kid I, used I used to think, think that pork chops and karate, karate chops, chops were the same thing. thing. I, thought I thought they were, they were both pork chops. chops. And, because and because my, my grandmother, grandmother thought, thought it was cute, and because, because they were my favorite, she let me keep doing, doing it. it. Oh. Not, Not really a big, big deal. deal. One day, before, before I realized that kids are not designed to climb trees, I fell out of a tree and bruised the right, right side, side of my body. body. I, didn't I didn't want to tell my grandmother about it because I was scared I'd get in trouble for playing somewhere I shouldn't have been. A few days later, the gym teacher noticed the bruise and I got sent to the principal's office. From there, I was sent to another small room with a really nice lady who asked me all kinds of questions about my life at home. I saw no reason to lie. As far as, as, far as I, was I was concerned, life was pretty good. good. I told, I told her whenever I'm sad, my grandmother gives me karate chops. chops. This led to a full-scale full investigation. And I was removed from the house for three days until they finally decided to ask how I got the bruises. News of this silly little story quickly spread through the school and earned my first nickname. As you see just now, um, you'll think it's really, really funny. you end up saying, like, Sean, what are we watching? What are we actually watching? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. You have to find out. Um, but stay aware. Well. It will get emotional. So let's jump right into it. Pork chop. To this day, I hate pork chops. I'm not the only kid who grew up this way. Surrounded, surrounded by, by people who used to say that rhyme about, about sticks, sticks and stones. stones. As, As if broken bones hurt more than the names we got called, we got called them all. So we grew up believing no one would ever fall in love with us. As you saw there, sticks and stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. But that's wrong, words do hurt people. If you've not already found out what this video is called, just keep watching. You will find out. And just let's jump right straight. Let's jump right straight into it. That we'll be lonely forever. That we'd never meet someone to make us feel like the sun was something they built for us in their tool shed. So broken heartstrings bled the blues as we tried to empty ourselves so we would feel nothing. Tell me that hurts less than a broken bone. That an ingrown life is something the surgeons can cut away. That there's no way for it to metastasize as does. She was eight years old. Our first day of grade three when she got called ugly. We both got moved to the back of class so we would stop getting bombarded by football. If you've not already know what this is about, um, I'm going to tell you because you should have already known what it's about. It's about bullying. Um, you're saying, Sean, I'm probably saying, Sean, why are you making us watch us? Why did you upload us? It's time to put a stop to bullying. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> but it's time to get stopped by bullying. I um, saw so a kid... Here's a story. I saw a kid down the street from me getting bullied by two teenagers. I went up to him and says, what are you doing? Why are you bullying this kid? And I was like, N they were like, nothing else to do, is there? And I was like, go. Go to the football park. There's football parks around this place. There's good fun stuff you can do around this place and they were like that's all shit that's I don't want to play fucking football I want to stay here and 
hang around with my pals. That's what he was saying. And I was like, fair enough. And I'm just, I just took a wee guy home. I just took a wee person home, so he wouldn't get bullied. Um, so that's what I did today. <laughs> so let's jump back into this video. As you, as they were saying there, um, beauty is not on the outside, beauty is in the inside, is inside your body. It doesn't matter what's in the outside, it matters what's in the inside. Um, if nobody can appreciate you, uh, how beautiful you are in the inside, then fuck them, fuck them. Just fuck them. And here's another wee story. I used to, true story, I used to get bullied. Um, you know what I did? I didn't do nothing. I was a big crybaby back then. But that's nothing to laugh at. That's nothing to laugh at. Because bullying is the number one thing in this world. It's terrible. I couldn't even go to the shop myself, I couldn't even walk myself to primary school myself and I couldn't even do anything, I couldn't even go out for recess like uh, that person there. Um, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't even go to the shop, I had to take one of my sisters or my mum to take me to the shop without me like getting bullied or hurt or I've been hurt so many times, uh, getting put down in the ground and getting punched on the on the face and it's really it's really really terrible man and I really hated it. <laughs> Sorry I'm really getting emotional here. Um let's jump back into the video. This guy was adopted. I wasn't. That's uh, the one thing in this video. I don't really. I don't really know what it feels like to be adopted. So, um, if you're adopted, I'm really sorry. Um, this video's getting to me because it's it's happened to me. Not the adoption thing, the bullying, um, all the spitballs. It was funny back then when I was doing it to other people, but I really regret it then. Um, I wasn't a bully. I was, um, I was just a victim of bullying. So. Two parts tragedy. Started there, there being made a had a personality made up of tests and pills. pills. Looked like, like the uphills were mountains, mountains and the downhills were cliffs for fifty I really hate that about therapists. Therapist gives you pills that you don't need. You don't need the pills. But if somebody's depressed when they're getting bullied and you can't take it anymore, are you? I used to try kill myself, slit my throat, slit my, slit my hand, or 
whatever so it can kill me drink bleach but uh, I ain't giving you ideas if you're getting bullied please don't take your own life of bullying um, please just tell somebody tell like tell like a teacher or that's what I couldn't do man I couldn't tell a teacher just in case like after school I get like I get punched or um, that the teachers tell the bullies that I said to the teachers that I told on them and they would come after me after school um, so that's what I couldn't do if you're afraid of that please just tell your if you have a therapist already please tell your therapist um, please tell a policeman or your parent or guardians because it's really hard to get through it yourself um, and I just moved away I just keep kept moving away from bullying and one day I grew up and all the bullies just grew up so t when time goes by all the bullies just get jobs and be responsible <laughs> And sorry for really stopping me here. Um, that's what I was afraid of now as well. Um, telling my mum that I was getting bullied, she would probably say, "Get over it. It'll, it'll be fine." Uh, I used to like come home with like so many bruises and. Sorry. I used to come home with so many bruises and so many cuts and my mum never noticed that I was getting bullied. She saw all the all the bruises and all the cuts but um she never noticed that I was getting bullied. I used to tell her like I was I fell and I fell over. A rock or something stupid like that but um, I'm so glad I told somebody that I was getting bullied and it, they helped me out with it and I moved away from all that so if you just can't move away just please tell somebody that you're getting bullied or if somebody bullies while you're watching this video um, please stop it because you're ruining everybody's life that you're bullying and um, you're ruining everybody's life that who's in your gang, who's bullying with you, or just stop it, please. And as you saw that the guy was by himself, um when you get bullied, this has happened to me as well. Um when you get bullied your that your friends don't want to be your friends anymore because you're getting bullied and they're they're afraid that they're going to get bullied as well because they're hanging about with you because all the, all the other friends was bullying you and they don't want to be your friends anymore and it's just shit man that's only a word for it shit it is but please get through it please don't hurt yourselves if you're getting bullied by like everybody and Please just don't hurt yourself and I've tried it and I regret it. So let's get on with this video. We weren't the only kids who grew up this way. To this day, kids are still being called names. The past is way stupid. It's bad. It's it's bad. Seems it's like every school has an arsenal name. Like kids can be true. Every school was a big time service test, and the pecking order couldn't have the last line to 
came in from clowns to carnies. All of these miles ahead of who we were, we were freaks. Lobster claw boys and bearded ladies. Oddities juggling depression and loneliness playing solitaire sitting in the box trying to kiss the wounded parts of ourselves. And yeah, he saw that guy who was lying down pure depressed and wasn't really active or sociable with anybody. That's what you can't really do. You're, you're like afraid to be a sociable um, when you're when you're getting bullied. You're like unsociable with people. You can't talk to anybody. You can't tell anybody that you're getting bullied. But um, it's the only thing you can do is tell someone, tell a, tell a policeman, tell a parent or guardian or if you have a therapist please tell a therapist um, or tell one of your teachers but I despise you don't tell a teacher because a teacher will tell the bully that somebody's told her, her or him that Ha ha! It's bullying or something like that. Anyway, um, but please tell somebody. Tell somebody that you trust, or if you already, or if you still have a friend where you're getting bullying, please tell him as well. He will definitely help help you. Um, despise it. No, I will say one thing. I hope it's a best friend that it doesn't. Uh, grass on you or doesn't tell on you it's the same thing but um, please tell somebody And obviously it's putting us against uh whatever you call him again. It is they just go by themselves that ugly and uh pure disgusting and when they turn into butterflies they're so beautiful and they're it's like us we crack open, we turn into a butterfly. But it's not on the outside, it's in the inside. We don't have wings in the outside, obviously. We have wings in the outside. I think we can fly. It's so beautiful, the butterfly. And you'll think I'm high just now, but I'm not. Um, that butterfly is That butterfly fly, fly is beautiful. And so are you. So is everybody in the world. It's not what's in the inside. It's what's in. No, it's not what. It's not what's in the outside, it's what's in the inside. Because the inside matters to me. And it matters to anyone who loves you. So let's get back into it. Because maybe you didn't belong to a group or a clinic. Maybe they decided to pick you last for basketball or everything. Maybe you used to bring bruises and broken teeth to show and tell, but never told. Because how can you hold your ground if everyone around you wants to bury you beneath it? You have to believe that they were wrong. They have to be wrong. Why else we still be here? We grew up learning to cheer on the underdog because we see ourselves in that. Guys, um, that's all. 
um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and please, please don't hurt yourself in any way if you're getting bullied and if you're a bully watching this video or another video um, out in the other somewhere else in the world um, please stop bullying it's hurting everybody, it's killing everybody um, it's making people depressed so please stop bullying and if it's cyber bullying you're going against um, it's that's one of the easiest things that you can really get get rid of um, if somebody's calling you names online or like on Facebook or anything just please like just delete them or block them or don't play with them anymore or on like your pl PlayStation 4 or Xbox One just don't play with them anymore and if you know them in real life then okay please tell somebody in obviously in real life that you're getting bullied just don't hurt yourself I've tried it and I regret it so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did Hit like button in the face and comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you lads after.